2 into 944 plus 496 which is 2384 minus minus 2 into 944 minus 188 let me let me correct my eights they do not look like eights in any way I'm really sorry for my bad handwriting 188 plus 2 into oh. now if I have to calculate so I'll make n o the subject now so after I make n o the subject I can see that 2 into n o is equal to 2384 minus 1888 minus 82 yeah this is equal to so 2384 minus 1888 minus 82 so this is 414 yeah this is 414 now So NO will be equal to 414 divided by 2 which is 212 kilojoule per mole. So this is 212 kilojoule per mole. So now remember bond enthalpies are always positive so you don't have to include the sign. Okay, Bond enthalpies are always positive because uh, bond breaking is always endothermic and uh, bond breaking is always endothermic and bond forming is exothermic. Bond energy is the energy needed to break a bond and hence it is always endothermic so always positive. Yeah. Now uh, we have another question for this. Use bond energies from the data booklet to calculate delta H for the following dissociation. So this is actually very easy. Why are we even doing this? 2HI gives H H plus I I. So delta H not R, which is delta H for them here in this question is equal to two times H I minus H H plus I I, which is equal to two times. I will check the data booklet. Yeah, so 299 minus 2 times 299 minus 436 plus 151. So when I calculate this, I get the second 2 into 299 minus 436 plus 151. I get 11 kilojoule per mole. So for delta H, I'll always have to include a sign because enthalpy change can be positive or negative. So this will be plus 11 kilojoule per mole. Yeah. Now we are done with this as well. So one thing before we end this presentation that so there are two things I need I want to discuss with you before we end this presentation. The first thing is that the bond energies that we are using from the data booklet, they are average bond energies. Okay. They are average bond energy, so they will never give an accurate answer. So, they, uh, because sometimes they can ask in the questions that why are these uh, uh, why are these values not accurate? So these values are not accurate. Uh, why are these uh, values of enthalpy change? Like we calculated delta H in this reaction, but it is not exactly plus 11 kilojoule per mole. It can it is it will be close to plus 11, but it is not exactly 11. 11 is just an estimated answer because what we have in the data booklet are average bond energies. Okay, they are averaged over several reactions because in in all reactions the bond energies are different. The, the, the bond energies of the same bond are slightly different in all reactions. So these bond energies that are given in the data booklet, they are averaged over several reactions and that's why we get an inaccurate value. So you will have to write this sentence which I just said uh, to get the marks for that question. And the second thing I want to go back to the definitions that we did. Yeah, so these are the definitions that we did. Um, so, uh, sorry, yeah. So I just want you to uh, go through all of them. So 
standard enthalpy change of reaction so it can be either endothermic or exothermic right so a reaction can be either endothermic or exothermic so delta h not r can be either positive or negative standard enthalpy change of formation can also be either positive